in today's video i'm going to be showing you my secret technique to easily ds vocals stay tuned for that let's get straight into it first things first today's video is powered by lambda lambda is a fully automated mastering suite that you can make use of you can try out their services for free basically what you do is you finish your mix upload it to lambda they use magic to master it your mix sounds a lot better you can upload it to spotify title etc etc so definitely try it out signing up is free if you do decide to subscribe to their services you can use my coupon code below for a big fat discount and you can be getting better results instantly so that being said let's hop straight into the video squad up all right so when it comes to dsing i know a lot of people have problems with those s those s sounds those p's sounds nasty doesn't sound good i'm gonna be showing you my secret technique that i make use of using a very cool and easy ds which is the waves ds a very old school plugin sounds cool works for me right so i'm gonna play the track a little bit and then I want you to pay attention to this attenuation meter. It's going to be showing you how much we are DSing. And then we'll break down why I'm choosing this specific frequency, how much I usually DS. And by the end of this video, you should be able to get a much smoother, more analog sounding vocal. Let's get it. Can't. I wish I could. This shit affects me every day. Yeah, I ain't been on in a minute. Think I'm living too fast. I'm popping my whip and racing because I just can't relax. Wish that I could talk about it, but I just can't do that. Now these problems. Stacking up, I gotta deal with that Yeah, she said I'm a villain But I'm Tom Cruise on a mission Heard he talking down in the squad, boy Yeah, you gon' end up missing I'm with the game for life Yeah, we ain't never switching Got a bag and I flipped it Can't bet for you, but you were missing Alrighty, so there you go Very professional sounding vocals The vocals aren't lift that's usually what happens when you DS too much. Sounds bad. You don't want to be doing that. All right. So first things first, man. I'm using the Waves DSer because it is cheap, right? It doesn't cost too much. It's very easily accessible to everyone. I'm sure if you have a uh, door that has a DSer, you can follow along as well if you don't have the Waves. Um, but the first thing I like to do, man, so we have two different modes when it comes to DSer. I'm generally going to be using the split mode. I find that it sounds a bit more natural than the wide mode. The wide mode is actually going to be DSing the whole signal every time the DSer is activated. So I don't really like to do that with main vocals because it's just way harder to get that vocal to sound natural. Okay, so I'm going to be using the split mode. Split mode is basically going to be focusing on um, usually the frequencies above a set frequency point right so i'm going to be doing that some other ones are also going to be focusing on the specific frequency i don't know how it works with this one but i've just been using split mode okay now what i like to do is i like to keep the side chain um with this one with the high pass if you do want to mess around with the band pass feature you can do that as well it's up to you all right so when it comes to frequency the secret here is that we're going to be focusing on the higher frequencies the extreme highs now i've been mixing vocals for a while and i've actually found that if i go too far downwards it becomes a lot harder sometimes it's necessary don't get me wrong but you know i would say a strong eight times out of ten i slap it on the highest frequency possible do my threshold settings and i'm good to go right that's really the secret here and the kind of um theory behind it is i want to make my vocal sound a bit more analog now what uh in the old school would make vocal sound more analog tape because tape was naturally going to be rolling off some of those extreme highs that's a huge problem we have in today's audio because we've got full range audio systems we're picking up all of those frequencies and a lot of times it becomes hard to manage them especially in vocals especially when a vocalist has not really trained themselves to really control those s sounds that's where the ds comes in so what i like to do is I set it to 16,000 hertz, okay, on this waves one. And then what I do is I start pulling down the threshold up until the point where I'm really attacking those frequencies. I'll also talk about where I'm using EQ in the chain because this is going to be important as well. But for now, this is all I'm doing, right? So as you can see, I ended up going for minus 36. Let's just round it off. And as you can see, I am DSing the heck out of it. But guess what? It doesn't sound unnatural, okay? If I was to actually DS, um, in different frequencies, let's take a listen to what that sounds like. I wish I could, this shit affects me every day. I ain't been home in a minute, think I'm living too fast. I'm popping my whip and racing cause I just can't be Right, I just cannot get away with that much attenuation, right? We're just really destroying the vocal. But when it comes to that 16k range, you know, you can just see. Problems keep on stacking up, I gotta deal with that. Right, stacking up doesn't sound unnatural, it sounds natural, it sounds almost tape. Right, if I was to turn that off. 
problems keep on stacking up, I gotta deal with that Yeah, she said I'm a vet Right, the she suddenly pops up, right? But when we have the ds -er active, we can see it deals with that Gotta deal with that Yeah, she said I'm a villain But I'm Tom Cruise on a mission Heard he talk down in the sky Right, that talking is just really loud But as you can see, that ds -er just completely grabs it Keeps it at bay And allows us to further process our track Without that, you know, popping out You know what I mean? That's one amateur mistake I find Is that the s's usually Or the treble in general In most mixes is just jumping out And when you're listening on headphones You're listening on cell phones It sounds like, you know, a problem, right? So, you know, this is a quick and easy way to deal with those frequencies. Now, when it comes to placement of the de because I know a lot of people are going to be asking, this was something I asked, de before EQ, de after EQ. Personally, I generally like to start off with the de -esser. That way, all the processing I'm doing afterwards is going to be easy, right? Because it's already tamed, it's already compressed, because the de is essentially a compressor. It's already compressed, I can focus on my EQ without certain sections of the vocal jumping out. If I really find that a part of the vocal is jumping out, what you can do is, for example, let's find an air sound. These problems keep on right? Problems keep on let's just say we wanted to emphasize or, or de-emphasize that, we could actually just, you know, make that a unique clip and then turn it down and then we would actually be manually de-essing but again we don't always have time for that so a de-esser comes in handy all right so there you go simple and sweet man now when it comes to again the de-esser i'm adding it before the eq that way as i said i can do the boosting afterwards right so as you can see i'm using this cool two based eq and i'm doing a little bit of boosting here and there and then i'm doing a little bit of boosting over here but as you can see it's all treated I can remove the things I don't want and then I can boost and then I'm getting a really great result. All right, but there you go. That is how I like to DS vocals quickly. Again, if I'm finding a vocal is really a problem, I'll then start kind of scoping out the frequencies and lessening up on the threshold just to make sure I'm really working on that vocal without making it sound lispy. Okay, but nonetheless, man, definitely check out the preset uh, in the link below if you're using fl studio we have just updated the template as well so here it is right here for fl studio uh 12 and up you can use it in any version from there we've got all sorts of cool free plugins that we make use of to get the same result exact same presets if you also want to learn how to record better and mix better definitely check out the vocal recording course and vocal mixing course definitely up your game get you up to scratch get you more professional again mix that up with the lander and you're going to be having a full-fledged kind of automated chain going but yeah man i'll take you next time peace out